the number one source for the sports gamer. Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural. And if you've been following our latest NCAA updates and news, you will know athletes are finally starting to receive their checks from EA as part of the settlement reach and the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit. EA settled with the players, and now the money has been paid out, even though the case versus NCAA continues. Being a part of the sports as well as sports gaming community, I'm ecstatic to say we've been able to get our hands on one of the checks sent out by EA to the players in the settlement. As you can see here, right on the screen, we actually have a check in our hands and I have here a screen for you guys. It reads, Dear Class Member, and close, please find a check in the amount of $242.96. This check represents your combined settlement payment for both NCAA and EA video game likeness settlements. Please cash the check as soon as possible and no later than July 5th, 2016. You will no longer be able to cash the check after that date and a new one will not be issued to you after that date. Your payment is based on the following points. EA points, 85 bucks. NCAA points, 49 bucks. $100 payment to settlement class members with no points. Not applicable. If applicable, a form is enclosed for your individual settlement payment, you're responsible for any taxes on your award. For questions concerning an enclosed check or settlement, please visit www.ncaa-likeness-settlement.com. I wish you could have came up with a shorter URL there, jeez. Or email video game claims at partnerlawfirm.com. If you have any questions about potential tax issues, as a result of this award, we recommend you consult a professional tax consultant. Neither class counsel, defense counsel, nor the settlement administrator can provide you any tax advice, and your inquiries on the subject will not receive a response. Sincerely, the settlement administrator. So you can see there, we got showing you guys one of the checks that uh, athletes have received as part of the settlement there. Uh, and very low, much lower than the average of $1,600 per check projected by ESPN. But this is only one check. This is the one that we have, we got our hands on. So it's entirely possible that's below the average, which maybe is. But that's interesting to note is that Greg McElroy posted an image of his check on Twitter, but he actually blanked out the dollar amount. So we're not able to really compare and see if, you know, that is the average or less or more uh, than a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but it makes sense that players will receive different amounts, seeing as each individual athlete had varying amounts of exposure in the game. For some, the check will be undoubtedly be larger, particularly those who grace the cover of the games or appeared in other promotional materials. Of course, many players such as Denard Robinson, who was featured in the cover of the final installment in NCAA football in 2013, have since gone on to play in the NFL. So any of these settlement checks probably won't even play for, pay for his dry cleaning. Uh, but obviously everyone should be compensated for their likeness in the game. But I've said many times over the course of several articles and videos on this, that people need the money most are those who don't play or don't make the NFL, which is the large majority. Only 1.6% of all college players will actually make it to the NFL. While college sports do allow athletes the opportunity for a scholarship, it isn't always good enough in today's economy, or even a college degree, a job is not guaranteed to you when you graduate. If you know anyone who received the check as part of the settlement, let us know in the comments below or on social media, and smash that like button, subscribe for more NCAA news, updates, and gameplay. This is The Natural. I'm out. Welcome back, sports gamers. It's The Natural, and I have an EA Sports NCAA football update for you today. Athletes are finally starting to receive their checks as part of the settlement from EA Sports versus Ed O'Bannon lawsuit. Does this put us one step closer to NCAA's return? Hi, EA. The case continues versus the NCAA. On Friday, former Alabama quarterback Greg McElroy took to Twitter to publish a five-part message about his opinion on the status of the game. The bottom line? For McElroy, he'd rather be able to play the game than be paid. To McElroy, maybe it is, but as quite a few people have pointed out, McElroy was fortunate enough to be able to make it to the NFL, even if only briefly, and to continue his career as a sports analyst. Now, not everyone is gonna have that same opportunity, and this, that's why there's plenty of support for the court's decision in the Ed O'Bannon case. It wasn't about removing NCAA football from the market, it was about making sure that the athletes who made an appearance in the game were fairly compensated. But just because athletes are finally starting to receive their checks doesn't mean the fight is over. 
the return of NCAA football may depend on a decision from the Supreme Court. While the district court ruled in favor of the plaintiffs, finding that the NCAA had violated antitrust laws, the plaintiffs will also be eligible